A command word, huh? What's he gonna pick? Arise. Oh, oh! <laughs> Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's React. I'm Kenny and this is my beautiful wife, Montana. And today we're gonna be reacting to the season one finale of Solo Leveling, episode 12, Arise. Arise. What do you make of that? Like a night situation. I mean, we just we are dealt in a night with situation. a night situation. Oh, wait, maybe the career change is him becoming a knight. Maybe. Because it's like a rise, like you, you do the like taps and then a rise, sir, whatever, of whatever. Yeah, maybe he's a soldier. That's the career path switch. Have all of these people been through the game? These are all good questions, and hopefully they'll be answered in this episode, but uh, thank you for watching, and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below if you enjoyed this series of solo leveling. Uh, we loved watching it with you guys, and we're excited for season two coming later this year. We'll definitely be reacting when it comes out, but for the meantime, in between, we believe we're gonna be watching Cyberpunk Edge Runners. Uh, very excited about that, been highly recommended for multiple years, and it won anime of the year, I think, like two years ago, so it's just really, it's pretty awesome. Fabulous. Sounds great. Yeah, 10 episodes, so that'll be coming next week. And if you're excited for that, make sure to check out Patreon link in the description below where all of Solo Leveling is posted right now along with these episodes of Cyberpunk and all the other shows we're watching, Jujutsu Kaisen, My Hero Academia, and uh, Has Been Hotel. All right, are we excited for the final episode of Season 1 of Solo Leveling? Absolutely. All right, let's get it. Let's go. Heads, this video was brought to you by the incredible members of the Let's React Patreon. If you want access to a ton of exclusive perks, check out the link in the description below. Have a good day, Twinkle Toes. Oh boy. Don't know where my ticket out of here went, and there's no time to look for it. Yeah, and he lost his teleportation stone. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised there hasn't been a notification. It said that at the beginning that this quest start was the start of the job change quest, this fight. Mm -hmm. Oh god, okay, there we go. Oh, there are so many of them. Look at him go. Wow. It's me. But I can never stop striving. Wow, his knuckles. Good lord. Jeez. Well, they call him the weakest hunter of all mankind. Oh. Wait, really? That's a thing. It was once he got hospitalized that Why isn't he fighting? That isn't weak, then I don't know what is. You're done. So give up. Stop now before you break, kid. Listen oh, I get it. Song. You push yourself way too hard. You deserve this. Oof. Now, why did you go and do something so dangerous? I know you were at the bottom, but you've come so far. That Who are you? Oh, Don't Jesus. Gino. Okay. Very bad face. And, uh, yeah, so that was just his former self. We okay. gave him a little chat. All right. Okay, so when he was, like, in a spot where he was most primed to give up, the game showed him, like, every situation where someone else told him he needed to give up. Maybe. <laughs> I'm not gonna. And so he has to like overcome that in order to. I don't know. It's like a indomitable human spirit thing. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe. Also, you might recognize a fight from this uh, intro coming up in a second. Perfect. This right here. Oh yeah, yeah. It's yeah. the knight. There's the knight. And these are the other knights. The fact that he's able to hold his own against all of them in armor. Also, an issue with my theory that he's going to become one of the knights is 
if all of the other knights had to go through what he went through, why was he able to defeat them so handily? Like if they had been through the same game leveling up system, I mean, it makes sense that there would be some who weren't as good, but like, I don't know, that was like at least 30 knights in armor. And I mean, eventually he was kind of getting fucked up, but like for a while he was holding him off. Yeah, we'll have to keep seeing what it, what's going on. I missed the third race. So true, babe. Hmm. Unfortunately, I was no longer fit for combat by that time. My body couldn't keep up anymore. Did you take part in the third raid at all? Yes. I acted as a point of contact for security, sir. That dungeon break claimed a great many lives, and those who did manage to escape carry the mental scars from it still. Though I suppose every hunter has similar scars. And if they can't overcome that harsh pain, then all that awaits is destruction. <sighs> Kinda hard to believe this is me. I mean, look at you. You look strong. <sighs> but I guess it's only your appearance that's changed. Dig deeper and you're still weak. Hell, you're right at Death's door. <laughs> he didn't think this about himself before. Or I guess we didn't know that he did. A dreamer who never learned his place. Shut your mouth. He's just oh, kind of facing God. any internal struggle he's been having. Oh, but, oh. Ooh. So pathetic. All that talk about how ready you are and this is the best you could do. You'll have nothing to blame for your death but your own ego. This all feels so familiar. I can't remember what happened next. The quest. Oh, wait, can I see what it said? That was, he forgot to do his strength training for the day. Oh, okay. So, the penalty is about to hit. Damn. The quest. Oh no. Well. Guess lots one of your skills too. Seems like they've decided it would be a waste to let you die here. They've decided oh, it's, it'll be a waste. Who's okay. they? So we get transferred zone. to another zone. Right. So we saved okay. from that. But that's what I was wondering is who's they and yeah, who is who's somebody's running it? They've decided it, he, he's not it worth would dying. be a waste. So yeah, who's they? I don't know this either. Right, yeah, like this is the last episode you've seen, right? Yeah. The creators of the game, or people very high up in the game, I don't know if that's possible. Yeah, I just don't know how. Yeah. Who are they? We'll find out, but for now yeah. he's in the penalty zone. Mm -hmm. Get around to my daily quest. Yikes. We must be past midnight. Good timing. This penalty saved my life. Yeah. <laughs> I wish me luck. I wouldn't have survived that mess without it. Or was the system cheering me on because it wants me alive? Who knows? Yeah, the good luck was interesting too. Yeah, was that really a coincidence? What'd you say? So that wasn't a coincidence. Yeah, I think somebody basically like could have let the penalty slide but was like he needs to get out interesting like, kind of triggered it that way okay so it's an entity that will withhold a punishment or has the ability to withhold a punishment well maybe i don't know it, like, like uh, this is more just speculation yeah it can withhold a punishment but also recognize when a situation is worse than what the punishment would be so that the new situation is better than the current situation which is like that's a lot for a bot yeah for sure first time my fatigue went over 90. all right back to normal i guess potions won't restore my hp if i'm seriously injured I can either wait to heal naturally or <laughs> that sucks. Try to get restored by leveling up. Okay, then leveling up it is, I guess. <laughs> He's so positive. And the names are now uh, giant centipede creature. But no, but more of the names are colored orange, so he has okay. a better chance. Mm -hmm. Any suffering I endure, if it doesn't kill me, it'll make me stronger. 
Holy shit. He's just going non-stop. <laughs> that was a weird dream. Hmm? Gino isn't home yet? Huh? No way is he doing a raid this late, right? Well... I didn't know better. About he that. He himself a girl. Hope he remembers my guardian teacher conference. And that'll actually make it there. <laughs> I feel like he won't, maybe. Unfortunately... He has some other stuff going on. Yeah. It's not a girl though. Ten minutes to our He's leveling up. Change quest. So I should probably use this time to sort out my gear. Bye. I still Night can't killer. get over how normal he acts like all of this is. Yeah. Night killer. This thing deals 25% more damage to armor types, huh? It's a little pricey, but should be worth it. And that leaves the rune stone. Not sure what it is, but it's gotta be handy. It is a ruler's hand, after all. <laughs> oh. Yeah, what does ruler's hand do? Oh. Let's Turns you here. into Gojo. <laughs> Whoa. Physically manipulate objects without touching them. Close enough. <laughs> Pretty much Gojo. Welcome back. Okay, just being clear, we're not saying no. it's like Gojo. His eyes were just it's blue, so it's in limitless uh -huh, is similar funny. to that, but anyway. I can manipulate objects without ever touching them. Uh, like he did. Wow. I've my proficiency to move something big. I've prepared myself as best I can. The rest will come down to luck. I see you invited a few more friends to the party. <laughs> we'll arrive at Jeju Island soon. Understood. Sorry, Miss Tra. I know how painful this entire ordeal must be. No, I'm fine. But thank you, sir. I wasn't a hunter during the third raid, but I can empathize with how you must be feeling. That's why I'm glad to help. I really am. I appreciate you saying that. Mana's been found. Several sources in the water beneath us. Mm -hmm. Bringing up the feed. What the? What was that? No, this night That's was pretty impressive. Thing. They could tell Much anything from that. Fighting. But something <laughs> feels off. No matter how many enemies I kill, I'm not gaining any XP. Plus, oh. no mages haven't done a thing. The knights are the only ones attacking, so what are they doing? <laughs> it's summoning magic. The knights are just weapons they've been calling through the gate. Oh, <laughs> interesting. Because the ones I should be targeting are the mages. All right. Oh, okay. I was right. What? Nice. Getting to the root of the problem. Very impressive. Make that four. Here he like making this his way. Like this looks easy for him. Yeah. He's upping his strategy more. Yeah. The manipulation mm -hmm. tool. Skill. Oof. <laughs> Is that a Mortal wow. Kombat reference? I don't think I realized that the first time. He's like, get over here. Oh, shit. Whoa. That's... Very... Oh, my God. I don't know that that's going to do a whole lot. One heavyweight would win it for them. But fewer targets just makes it easier for me. <laughs> Got him. Holy shit. Your summoners are already dead, so 
Very cool. Yeah. Very cool animation. I'm sorry. Okay. 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 I was like, are you fine? Um, <laughs> but he took him down. Okay. All right. Fabulous news. If someone's watching, they must be impressed. Yeah, that's a good question. I'm wondering that same thing. Mm -hmm. Job change quest okay. is finished. Okay. What does that mean? Defeated all the monsters. What does it mean? Switch to a more advanced class with the points this quest got me. If so, I imagine it's going to be based on my performance. I won't get the juice. Wherever the player goes, goes, the, the angel, angel of death follows. But that's not the career change. Whatever path the player takes, it's littered with corpses, and the stench of blood remains. Yeah. Do we have to? I'm not really following. Oh, I, I completely misunderstood. I thought they were saying they were going to give him like an upgrade where he got like a little friend to come along with him. But the little friend is the angel of death and that the bonus or the feature of having your angel of death friend is that whatever path you take. Gotcha. You'll that's not what's happening. Okay. I don't think. Yeah. All right. But uh, I think it's just analyzing him. At least that's what I'm perceiving. Might not be that, but we'll see. Okay. I'm not really following. Wow. The machine's calling him an it. I think the great power, potentially. I don't think... It's thirst for strength. Well, Whoa. Okay, let's just take it at face value and go from there. <clears throat> yeah. How about that? The ghosts summoned by the Shadow Army will follow the player's orders as the Shadow Army make way only for the player. Shadow Army? What? What the? No. This doesn't make any sense. That's my new job class? What? Romancer? A necromancer. Oh. That is the one that I ignore the most. So how Hate that. I Necromancers are a magic type class that summon undead monsters as servants. But I'm an assassin build. My main stat is strength, and I use daggers with a close range combat style. How did it decide Back on that? A class like Necromancer will waste all of that. What did he call it? Backline? Oh, yes. Okay. Like they're sitting back. No. Okay, oh, okay. Decline. Wait, a uh, hidden class? <laughs> Are you sure? Like, come on. Somebody's controlling that if they say yeah. that. Some kind of special power. Necromancy. If I had some kind of frame of reference. Uh, summoning magic. <laughs> These mages were just showing me a little sample. It wasn't necromancy specifically, but it was close enough. And my opponents, they all had abilities I'd seen in previous fights. The system made this job change quest seem optional, but maybe it was inevitable. I see where this is going. The mages weren't strong on their own, but I am. And there's no rule that says necromancers can't fight on the front lines. If classes work like stats, then as I level up, my skills will too. And my shadow army will become stronger, in other words. I won't be solo leveling anymore. Except. Do you get what he was saying there? So he's going to start controlling a whole bunch of people on the front lines, and that's how he's going to make a backline job front line. What he's saying is, so in that fight, we saw mages summoning a bunch of knights the whole time, mm -hmm. and the mages were pretty easy to kill. Yeah. He's saying, okay, they're backliners because they're easy to kill. I'm not easy to kill, and I'm a fighter, so I can essentially summon a bunch of people to be in my army, and then 
still go fighting on the front lines. Like okay. the only reason they're not on the front lines is because they're weak, mm -hmm. and he's not. Yeah. Um. But his other thing is, well, if I'm summoning an army too, I bet you my skills, like summoning, increase with my stats. So as I level up, my army that I'm summoning will level up. Okay. I won't be solo leveling anymore. That's what he. Gotcha. Means. Okay. It's just a more efficient way to upgrade everyone. Yes, like and also having everyone. Having like everyone, having and they're all because you're not having. Together. He's solo. Yes. Yeah. What, yeah. <laughs> I knew. <laughs> I was like, I did not. Okay, depending on the advancement points required, you may progress to a higher class. If he gets advancement points, he can progress. Thank you for explaining that. Sorry, you said required, not acquired, so. Oh, I did. Depending on the advancement points required. Yeah. Damn. Hate to see it. And hear it, apparently. I was, I was literally going to say that exact phrase. <laughs> So he, he took longer than expected, so he gets bonus points. Oh, okay. And he didn't use the teleportation stone, he gets bonus points. Okay. Like, he, wow. he's getting a bunch it's of bonuses a lot of for doing a lot of stuff. A lot of yeah. stuff. Wait, 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 hold Your on. To Your total advancement have points have the exceeded the... Oh, so he's now... Wait, this he's hasn't even happened beyond before, what was needed, though. Basically. Okay. Okay, here's the God. thing. He, instead of Necromancer, this is what he got. Okay, Shadow Monarch. Okay, so he's like a ghost king. So, the, yeah, essentially cool. they said if you have enough advancement points, you can go even higher. Oh, you reached all those thresholds. Cool. Shadow Monarch. I got an instant upgrade. I must have scored a lot of bonus points. If my rewards are ready, is the quest finally over? Did I complete the job change? <laughs> I hear cries from those broken bits of armor. They sound like people in pain. Shadow extraction? A command word, huh? What's he gonna oh, pick? Lies. Oh, oh! <laughs> okay. People from the show love this phrase. But like this that show. That makes sense. <laughs> the unique skills are shadow extraction and shadow storage. One lets me drain mana to create shadow soldiers, and the other lets me hold those soldiers to summon whenever. Then, these must be my soldiers. The extraction can fail based on the strength of the target and the time since death. I got mages and knights. They come in different ranks, too. If it's possible to extract A or S rank shadows. Well, they look the really cool. Reflects how strong they were in life. Then oh. Then that one's like a super high level one. Hell yeah. Since it's I possible. My storage, I'll release 11 of the infantry. Sorry, I woke you up for nothing. Now then. Night Commander Egress the Blood Red. Will you submit to my control? Where did that name come from? Um, when he first fought him, it showed his name. Okay. Um, I thought he just named him that, just like off. No, his name was Egress. Okay, cool. Uh so he's gonna try to get him on his team. Okay. Night Commander Egress the Blood Red. Will you submit to my control? Arise. <laughs> right, it told me there's a chance He's not strong bang. enough. Two more tries. Oh. Arise. Damn it. Unless they undergo a reawakening, a hunter's powers won't change. We have only two ways to gain strength. 
perfecting our techniques, and gathering allies. Waiting for your king, are you? How can you be certain he'll make his return? Knight Commander Egress, you are a warrior. That means your purpose is to cut down your foes. Will you let your blade rust in this crumbling ruin? Or will you rise above that fate and serve me? Instead of defending the throne of a fallen king, pledge yourself to the man before you. Arise. He's got to motivate it? A dead guy? He's talking to his soul. So the soul can be motivated post-death. Despite that, there's something I'd like to envision from time to time. All right, you've twisted my arm. Hmm. Like, come A new on. cape, though. The cape was red before. From now on, you are simply egress. That is your name. So who's to say that someone who defies all expectations, someone strong enough to become a beacon of hope in these dark times, couldn't be born this very moment? Wow. So the hope of the Damn. government he is, mm -hmm. literally. I wonder what's going to become of that. But he's got an army. Okay. You're winning now. <laughs> And that wow. is where we're that's left where we're left for season one of solo leveling. Okay, and when does season two come out? October, November, December, around that time. That's too much variability for yeah. me. Yeah. Well, let's see if there's a post credit scene. <laughs> wow. There is. Excuse me, was that L? No, it wasn't, but Guildmaster, what is this? I don't know. To my knowledge, this hasn't ever happened before. Somehow, it would seem... They're evolving. <laughs> they found in the They're water. They're evolving. All right. I'm not here to sell. I want this fused here. High time I chrome the fuck up. Roaming up. Oh what is it gonna do? Not good, because I think what happened was there was a dungeon break on that island, and they're like, at least they're contained there. Seems like they're unfortunately not. Yeah. Uh, but that is where we are left for the final episode of season one of Solo Leveling. What are your first thoughts? Wow. Incredible finale, incredible season. I think it's so interesting that they finally chose to show some like excitement and surprise from him just now yeah like what are they setting up for next season i really wonder because he's rising so fast mm -hmm. like i wonder what they're setting up and uh it's fun now because we are both blind reacting we've reached Yay. the threshold we have reached a few times before i think actually just with the attack on titan i think i'm still speculating what's going to happen in season two but for now that's where we're left uh we're going to go into our discussion section in a bit uh make sure to like comment subscribe down below if you enjoyed that series and are excited for more coming whenever season two comes out if you want to see the entire extended uncut version of our reaction to the entire season, it's all posted to Patreon right now, along with episodes of other series we're watching, including Jujutsu Kaisen, My Hero Academia, Has Been Hotel, and a ton of other shows. For now, we have a lot to discuss, but before we do that, where are we headed? All right, let's review. Thank you for watching. For now, we're going to go to questions given to us by our amazing Patreon members. If you want to ask us questions we answer after every episode of any show we watch and support us as creators, join the link in the description below and start asking. For now, let's go to question one. Question one. Day asks, what are your thoughts on the Necromancer job class and being able to create a shadow army? Do you think this will attribute to Genu's ongoing loss of humanity? 100%. Really? I mean, just viewing dead people as a weapon which is like what you have to do if you're gonna be in a battle necromancer. Yeah. I feel like there's no way you couldn't look at people differently after doing that. I do think it's a really cool idea to see someone who is so obviously suited for a specific class to be forced into a different 
one that's like so opposite. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but there aren't very many transferable skills. Between his skills that he has and Between like, like assassin and necromancer. Like yeah. That. Not that many. That's what he was puzzling through too. But then he also sort of described like, okay, because we saw during the fight, he was like, the mages aren't doing anything but summoning. Like he could be summoning. And then once he's done summoning, go back to being an assassin. It's So in that way, it's compatible. If he uses it almost as just like a skill rather than its class, I feel like. Yeah. And that's what I think he's going to probably do. I mean, he summoned the army, but I bet he's going to lead it. Like think the Night King from Game of Thrones. Yeah. That's how I imagine where he can just raise things from the dead, mm -hmm. but also he's a fighter and could beat people. Unless right. it's Arya flying through the air, but it's a whole lot about that season that just it was. It, we, we don't okay, we, we don't talk to, about no, okay. we, we don't we talk just, about season yeah, eight of Game of Thrones. But anyway, yeah. yeah, it's definitely gonna lead to a lot of opportunity for him because now, like, he can just go into any raid by him. I wonder. <laughs> can he be his own group can now? Can he like bring up a group of seven people be like, hey, I have eight people. Let me go do the raid. Like, or, are you sure? They look kind of fucked up. No, they're fine. Well, and I wonder if his capacity <laughs> could shift and he could like go to the lead person and be like, hey. Uh, I can summon like 40 people to go do this for us. Like, yeah. Hey, any person we defeat can now be on our team. Like, well, what are the limits of what he can do now? And then, I mean, obviously, as he levels up, he's going to get new skills and just become more powerful in general. Well, that's actually a good question. And I have a question for that. <laughs> um, HBOM24 asks, now that Jinu has acquired a shadow army, including the OP Igris as his lieutenant, where do you imagine he'll go from here? Do you think he'll be able to keep his leveled up status a secret? Do you think he will even care anymore? I guess it's going to depend on how he uses the necromancy powers. Yeah. Because, like, I don't know, if you just have, like, one guy walking around guarding something and Jinu's, like, hiding somewhere so it, like, looks very inconspicuous, that would be one thing. Versus him just like walking through an open courtyard with like 40 zombies behind him. I'm really not sure if he's going to care enough to keep it secret. Yeah, because like he's losing like and also speaking of the previous question as well. He's losing his humanity over time with the more he levels up. I feel like he's like becoming less and less human mm -hmm. because he's more a game character in his brain. Yeah. And like just being able to, like you said, use people as tools. Like I could see him... At some point, like in the near future, just being like, yeah, I can kind of just do what I want now. Like I like I'm going to just go raid any dungeon I want, raise up anybody I want. Like, I feel like the rules are going to start to apply to him less and less. And he's going to I th I think he'll start caring less about being known. He still needs more time to level up more. But I wonder what rank he is now with all the stuff he just gained. Because he was a B prior. And now yeah, well, I'd say he has to be at least a. Yeah, and it was always very money focused for him. He wasn't in it for fame or notoriety. So when you could theoretically just go clear dungeons by yourself and just like easily walk through them and get so much money at a certain point, you have enough to fund your sister's education and housing her entire life for yeah. the, forever. You think he's going to probably um, do that through Jinho, like that whole 30 billion deal he had? Maybe I'm just, it. like at what point is it enough? How do you propose he makes the money? Because he doesn't have very much money yet. Because like enough is enough would be implied if he kept making money, but he's not making very much money. He has a deal for 30 billion with Jinho. Right. I feel like if he comes back into the regular world with the ability to raise dead people and have them fight for him, he can do literally whatever he wants. If he just goes home and goes through with his plan to do the 30 billion dungeon raid thing, he does that, gets the money. Now what? How would he get more dungeons to raid? I'm not sure. I think with that money, he would have enough to do whatever he needed to do, I think. But the thing I'm wondering is if he comes back, like potentially he could do more for more money. Like what if he goes to like the government or something? He's like, hey, I can like put out task forces for these dungeons out of like dead people and we could we can make money that way. Yeah, like, I can it, just like shut everything down. I just don't know what exactly he's going to do with these new powers. And I for now i'm gonna assume he's probably gonna try to keep it secret but i think that is gonna be not as big of a deal for him anymore like maybe he's gonna be 
like able to flex a little bit more and like show his strength a bit more because he has backup in a sense. Like, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, we'll see. And I, it said there's like differences in how hard it is to raise someone up based on how long they've been dead, how powerful they were, and I wonder how long they how long they've been dead, like how much of a factor that is. Like he can't can he go to like the best hunter ever who's dead and just yeah, like, like what are the limitations on that? What are the limitations? Uh, excited to see that and what he what sort of person he is next season but uh, let's go to our final question speaking of changes in person final question sheena asks what did you think about the same voice actor changing the sound of their voice and the main character throughout the season i'm gonna tack on to that what do we think of alex lee alex lee fabulous job masterclass. wow phenomenal um so good i genuinely would have believed if someone had told me that they got two different actors i would have been very impressed that the second actor had been able to like tap into what the first actor did while still creating such a strong character division yes there's something i must actually show you with urgency clearly no it's very funny and people will want me to show you this tiktok it's very famous now okay english voice actor of sung Junu in solo leveling here over the last weekend i've gotten thousands of comments in my inbox about the arise scene i get it you're excited you're nervous S so am i but here's the thing and i'm not talking about the comments that are politely asking me to do a good job no not those i'm talking about stuff like like this if you keep spamming my comment section with threats. If you keep making threats to me about this scene, I'm going to change it to wake up. <laughs> I'm going to change it to wakey, wakey. Stop. I'm going to change it to get up, buddy. <laughs> I'm going to change it to erect, erect. <laughs> I'm going to change it to it's time for school. It's time for school. Get up, buddy. So anyway, yeah, that that was Alex Lee uh, doing a little no, a little preview as he of this should. episode. It, they're like, don't fuck it up. He's like, I'll ruin it if you don't stop being annoying. Yeah, but people love um, that meme. Yeah, that's and now, really funny. Like I, in the first episode I posted the premiere, all the comments were like, arise, 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 arise. Yes. And some of them were like, wakey, wakey. Because <laughs> he literally could, ch like it says input it, what you no, want. No, you so can do whatever funny. you want. But um, yeah, yeah, great. I mean, from a voice acting perspective, just another level of perfection. Like I just, I mean, as Zenitsu, it's funny because I think of a Zenitsu performance and I'm like, oh, I can't, and Zenitsu kind of annoys me. And I'm like, he's meant to annoy you. Yeah, so that's like, the point. He plays the role perfectly. Yeah. No, exactly. It's like the people who like hated the Joffrey actor. It's like that. It's because he's doing a good job. You're not meant to be in love with all of them. Yeah, not to compare Joffrey and Zenitsu. No, but, uh, no, 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 no. I just mean people who are like, mean who be, conflate yeah. the actor playing the character and their skill in depicting someone awful with the actual person being shitty. Absolutely. Um, and this is definitely a case where it's like, oh, he was very good at be playing annoying, but like, He's incredible. Like, the range is unreal. And I cannot, like, the way that this show has demonstrated kind of this, like, slow descent into valuing humanity less and less. What is he going to do next season? That is like, a what does he have good planned? question. I can't wait. And uh, with that, I think that's a good place to leave off season one, but very excited to see what Alex has for us next season. Uh, but that is where we're left for season one. Are we excited for season two of Solo Leveling? And up next, Cyberpunk Edge Runners. Can't wait. All right, let's get it. Let's go.